12 News is your local election headquarters. Today, several candidates for Rhode Island governor met on the same stage for the first time. The hour long forum was moderated by our own Steph Machado and touched on a variety of topics. Our Anita Buffoni was also there and joins us now live from Warwick with the details of today's discussion. Anita. Kim and Brian, well, that forum lasted just about an hour here at the Crown Plaza in Warwick, where those six major candidates took the stage. Five Democrats and one Republican all taking questions regarding from the pandemic to reproductive rights. A full house for the first forum with Rhode Island's major gubernatorial candidates hosted by the Rhode Island Public Expenditure Council. The sole Republican in the race is businesswoman Ashley Kalis. The Democratic primary is a bit more crowded. The list includes community activist Luis Daniel Munoz, former CVS executive Helena Folks, former Secretary of State Matt Brown, current Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea, and incumbent Governor Dan McKee. The first question by moderator and 12 News reporter Steph Machado was about the state's $1.1 billion in federal COVID relief money. What is your number one priority that you think this money should be spent on? In Education, competitiveness, and housing. Now more important than ever that we prioritize health care. My number one priority is education. Housing. Housing is uh, the way to really focus on solving uh, many of the issues. That the economy and increasing people's income, which are the main goals that I would say. Ahead of the forum, there had been some confusion about whether Governor McKee would participate. His staff originally confirmed his attendance back in February, but last week, RIPEC announced he had pulled out of the event. Then Monday, McKee's campaign announced he had once again changed his mind. Why did you ultimately decide to attend the forum? I, I mentioned that at my end. Thanks to RIPEC, and um, I think it was a, it was the right right decision. Now, the candidates tackled a lot of topics today with Steph Machado. Coming up at 5, I'll tell you how high the, the candidates want the minimum wage to go. And if you want to hear more from today's forum, we have the entire uh, discussion posted on our website right now at WPRI.com. Live in Warwick, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. 12 News is your local election headquarters. Six of the candidates vying to be Rhode Island's next governor took the stage at the Crown Plaza in Warwick today to talk about a variety of issues. The gubernatorial forum was hosted by the Rhode Island Public Expenditure Council and moderated by our own Target 12 investigator, Steph Machado. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni was there and joins us now with details on some topics that were discussed. Anita? Well, Mike and Shannon, it was the first time all six major candidates took the stage together here at the Crown Plaza in Warwick. We heard from five Democrats and one Republican eyeing the state's top job. Crown Plaza in Warwick had a packed house for a gubernatorial forum with Rhode Island's six major candidates hosted by the Rhode Island Public Expenditures Council. The five Democrats running are former Secretary of State Matt Brown, current Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea, former CVS executive Helena Folks, incumbent Governor Dan McKee, and community activist Luis Daniel Munoz. Then there is Ashley Kalis, the solo Republican in the race. Moderator and 12 News reporter Steph Machado had a rapid fire round of questions for all candidates, including how high they want the minimum wage to be. What should the minimum wage be in Rhode Island? $19 an hour, which is just about $40,000 a year. Ms. Folks. Today it's 1225. I would accelerate the move to $15. Secretary? I think we're on the path right now to go get to 15 and we need to get there. Ms. Kalis? Yeah, I agree that we are on a path and we shouldn't uh, deviate from the path. $15 an hour is a good start, but that's not enough money for people to actually earn a living. Our goal should be $25, however long it takes. Ahead of the forum, there had been some confusion about whether Governor McKee would participate. His staff originally confirmed his attendance back in February, but last week, RIPEC announced he had pulled out of the event. Then Monday, McKee's campaign announced he had once again changed his mind. Why did you ultimately decide to attend the forum? I tried to make the right decisions based on the fact that uh, our staff had committed, and after reviewing it, I wanted to make sure that I kept that, you know, kept that promise. Now, the minimum wage was just one of many topics discussed today. If you'd like to hear more from these candidates, we have posted the full forum on our website right now at WPRI.com. Live in Warwick, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.